Amanda, thank you. Now at 530, a Providence man is sentenced for shooting a police officer and assaulting his girlfriend. Prosecutors say Louis Roman, which we will show you at a previous arraignment, used a ghost gun in the shooting, nearly missing the officer who was in his police cruiser. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni spoke to the Attorney General today. She joins us now with his reaction to the sentencing. Anita. A 32-year-old Providence man will serve 30 years in prison after pleading guilty to charges including intent to murder. A sentence Rhode Island's Attorney General says is warranted based on the violent facts of this case. This AR-15 style ghost gun was the firearm used to shoot at a Providence police officer by this man, Louis Roman, who has since pleaded guilty. Roman will now spend at least three decades at the ACI of a 70 year sentence. Attorney General Peter Nerona is troubled by how easy it is to buy and put together a ghost gun, even for convicted felons like Roman. So these guns are out there. They're in the hands of people who shouldn't have them. Um, we're using our tools, uh, both investigative and legal, to go after them. Former Providence Police Chief Hugh Clements previously telling Target 12 the details of the near-death encounter for that police officer. This photo showing the bullet holes in the police cruiser. The suspect on the porch fires nine rounds hmm. at the vehicle, two striking within centimeters of where his head would be behind the uh, the front windshield. That shooting caused the officer to back away from the home to call back up. That's what we worry about. Uh, someone uh, heavily armed to the extent that the police aren't equipped in the first instance of going in to remedy a situation where in this case a woman is facing violence. That to me is why these guns need to be taken off the street. This gun and countless others have been taken off city streets, but Nerona warns the ghost gun problem is far from over. Now he pleaded guilty to eight charges brought against him in this case. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.